Okay, so we're gonna look at circles and the parts they have. Let's start with there's the circumference and the diameter and pi. And there's going to be some secret relationship between these three pieces. All right, so let's start with the circumference. This is the distance around the edge of the circle. This is the circle part. It's what you might think of as the perimeter. There's the diameter. Now this is the distance across the circle, edge to edge, right through the center. Now you can imagine if you drew lines through a circle, they'd be shorter if you started at the top from the edge to the edge. And if you went to the very, very bottom and drew a line from the edge to the edge, it would be short. But if you go right through the center, it would be the longest point across a circle. Think of it as a spoke of a bicycle wheel. It goes from one edge through the center all the way to the other edge. And next there's pi, right? Everyone here probably has heard of pi and probably knows that it equals 3.14, but let's take a look at the fraction value. It's also 22 sevenths as a fraction. That's, that's approximate. They are not exactly the same, but they're the same to the first three decimal, or the first two decimal places, right? 0.14, or 14 hundredths. Both of those numbers are exactly the same to the hundredths place. So let's begin. All right, so this is a circle and we want to identify the circumference. There it is in yellow. That's what we mean by the perimeter of a circle. And the diameter from edge to edge, there it is. All right, so now let's think about which one of these is longer, the circumference or the diameter of any circle, All right? Well, the circumference is longer, obviously, and one way to remember that is that it's a longer word, so that's the longer line. Sometimes we forget which is which. The circumference is the long part of a circle. The diameter is the shorter part. So there's the circumference. And remember, there's a relationship between the circumference and the diameter. We're going to try and figure out what that relationship is. So how many times longer is this? Right? How many times longer is the yellow circumference than the blue diameter? Well, it's about two or three and a little bit more than three. Actually, it's about 3.14, or 22 sevenths, times longer. That's where pi comes from. It's that fact that there's a constant relationship between the diameter and the circumference. All right, so if the circumference is pi times longer than the diameter, and I tell you that a diameter is 7 feet long, that's the easiest part of a circle to measure because it's a straight line, we should be able to calculate the circumference of a circle. Now, how could we do that? Well, you would multiply diameter 3.14 times, and you would get the distance of the circumference. That's 7 feet, and another 7 feet, and another 7 feet, and a little bit more. All right, sometimes this is expressed in terms of pi. We could just multiply it. We could write this as 7 pi. The circumference is 7 pi. Uh, we could multiply it by 3.14, but sometimes it's easier to multiply by the fraction, 22 sevenths. When would that be? Well, let's take a look. Right? If you have a numerator of 7, or that's a diameter of 7, you could simplify those diameters, or that diameter, and it would make this a lot simpler than multiplying by a three-digit number, like 3.14. All right, we can simplify it. All right, other diameters that would simplify like this might be something like 14 or 21 or 28 or any other multiple of 7, like 777. Um, anything that you think you could simplify with the denominator of 7. All right, so keep an eye out for those diameters. All right. And the same is true for finding the circumference, right? What if we, if we know that it takes about three diameters to make a circumference, we should just simply be able to multiply, I'm sorry, so we should be able to divide the circumference to find the diameter. So let's, let's try this. Um, if we have a diameter of 22, I'm sorry, if we have a circumference of 22, that's the long part, and we want to figure out what the diameter is, we would simply divide by 3.14. We cut it into three pieces with a little bit extra left over. So 
In this case, you want to look out for circumferences that are multiples of 22. Let's take a look at how that works. Because remember, when we're dividing a circumference by 22 sevenths, we will be taking that other fraction and flipping it into its reciprocal. So now we can see we can cancel out the 22. So you want to be able to look out for multiples of 22 also, 22, 44, 66, 220, those sorts of things, so that we can simplify when we're multiplying, right? So that's what we're doing to find the diameter. We're taking a circumference and dividing it by pi, okay? So we can always divide by 3.14, but sometimes it's easier to use fractions. All right, so remember, you're gonna be asked to do two things. Take the circumference and use it to find the diameter, and taking the diameter and using it to find the circumference. So you're gonna remember that you're gonna take the, the longer number and divide it by pi. That will give you the shorter number. The circumference divided by pi will give you the diameter, the shorter line. And inversely, if you take the shorter number, that's the diameter, and multiply it by pi, it will become a longer number. It will turn your diameter into a circumference. Now, this is a very beginning relationship, but it's how you find the circumference of the circle or find the diameter. All right, good luck.